So I've been seeing a lot of folk online claim that HDR, especially on PC, is a bad experience, hence why they'll be pulling out their Motorola Dynatac 8000X to call up a friend to bring over their Nintendo 64 and hook it up to a first gen LCD in SDR only. But is HDR actually worse than SDR? Why are so many people complaining about it looking washed out? And most importantly, Who's your daddy? Well, in order to answer those questions, first we need to answer what HDR or high dynamic range is. And in the simplest terms, it's a new standard that defines a larger color range, allowing for greater accuracy and detail along with a new brightness standard, which not only means displays can get much brighter than before, but this brightness is used not to make the scene needlessly brighter, but to add detail to bright spots in video clips where previously it would have been hidden and blown out completely in an SDR video. Now, HDR monitors and TVs also typically have stricter quality standards in general and much higher contrast as true HDR monitors are required to have a certain amount of dimming zones or just be OLED to achieve higher contrast levels and a much better picture overall. So as you might imagine, after ingesting all that info through your ear holes, yes, a good HDR monitor or TV is much, much better than an SDR one, and you should always use HDR when possible. But why then do so many PC gamers complain about HDR looking bad or washed out. Well, there's likely three reasons, and to be honest with you, they're totally understandable, and I feel ya, I've been there before. One, your HDR monitor might be dog shit. Look, there's a lot of monitors on the market with HDR on them that, in my opinion, don't really qualify, and these pieces of LCD displays offer often very little benefit over other SDR variants, aside from higher brightness. And honestly, I'd like to see things like HDR 400 probably go away as I don't think that quite meets the quality standard that I would like to see. But hey, I'm not the person in charge of creating those, so it is what it is. Two, Windows is possibly making those people believe that HDR is bad when in fact, it really isn't. Look, Windows handles HDR very poorly as they use, in my opinion, a terrible gamma curve to display SDR content when HDR is enabled in the operating system. This leads to SDR games and apps looking somewhat washed out when compared to turning HDR off, and it's really something that Microsoft needs to give us control over to fix so that, yeah, HDR doesn't look bad, and just looks good all the time. And then three, the people who are claiming the HDR looks bad might actually just be used to incorrect and wildly oversaturated colors. Another issue that of course Windows is responsible for, at least in part in my opinion, is that it handles wide color gamuts in SDR very poorly, again, at least in my opinion. Now, by default, many monitors ship in a wide color gamut mode like DCI P3 or BT2020 out of the box, but unfortunately, Windows really only supports sRGB outside of color managed apps, and instead of just having the monitor display the image in sRGB, for some reason, the colors from sRGB from Windows are stretched into a wider color gamut, which makes them way oversaturated and it just looks awful. However, some people just really like super oversaturated images and will not like accurate colors, which are displayed in HDR. So overall, yes, HDR is much better. And if it looks worse to you, there's probably something going wrong with either the hardware or the software that you're using that you might wanna look into. But at the end of the day, no matter what I say, someone's gonna to wanna to yell at me and tell me that I'm wrong. And if you wanna keep yelling at me every time I upload a video, be sure to get subscribed for everything display related here on the Display Guy. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.